Hi Cancers, it's Nick. This is your weekly reading. We are now covering April 22nd to the 28th. And this week, guys, we have a Scorpio full moon on the 23rd. And then on the 25th, we have Mercury and Aries now going direct. I did already run down my little explanation and the astral energies for this week in the previous video, if you already saw that. Um, and like I mentioned at the end of that video, to start off this reading, I'm going to go into... Um, what emotion that you are going to be releasing or maybe needing to let go, transform, transmute, put an end to for this Scorpio full moon. And then moving forward, what energy do you need to be in or embody so that you can move forward and direct your mind on the right things for with Mercury and Aries going direct. Okay, and so far I feel like it's been pretty on point. Um, like scarily very on point for a lot of other signs that I did so far. And then we'll look into your health, career work finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships, okay? And then don't forget, I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two. And this is for all my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what emotion may you be working on or trying to release, let go of, transform, transmute with this full moon energy in Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's see, let's see, for all my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like yesterday, I forget what sign, it was either, I think one of the Earth signs or Air signs, they got like hope, hopelessness, and then like hopeful, um, which is crazy, I was like, wow, it's like telling you straight up. So let's see, what does Cancer need to let go of, transform, let go of, release. Oh, okay, so Cancers, you guys got sad sadness, unhappy, joyless, dejected. So any sadness, unhappiness that you're feeling, I know it's easier said than done, but this is something that maybe you're like wanting to release. You're wanting to let go of, obviously, because no one wants to be sad, right? But this is the emotion that this full moon is helping you to flush out, to push out, to purge out of your system. Um, and this could be sadness due to a relationship, to life, health, money, friendships, family, it could be an array of things, but whatever sadness you're feeling, who, whoever, whatever caused this, this is something that this full moon is going to help you or you're going to be trying to release to push and transmute hopefully into better or into something that's going to uplift you. So sadness is something that you're maybe working through at this time. So um, hopefully you're not too sad, but I know we're all going through things whether it's small, medium, or large, but um, I hope your sadness goes away very soon, but I know it's something that takes time. So let's see, what is the energy that you need to be in, or maybe what energy is gonna help you to move forward with Mercury and Aries going direct? So maybe what you can put your mind to, um, what you could be thinking about, communicating about, speaking about that will help you move forward. For cancers all right so you got jealous so jealousy envy suspicion possessiveness so maybe the reason why you are sad is because there's some jealousy that you feel towards someone maybe like let's say you had a breakup with someone and now that person has already moved on to someone else and you're like oh, kind of like a little bit jealous like why like does that person have something i don't have or maybe you're your best friend and you had a fight and now your friend's all buddy buddy with someone else um or whatever the case is someone has something that you don't have there's some jealousy here that it's not that you need to be jealous but use that energy of jealousy envy to push you forward towards saying, you know what? I don't have time to be sad. Like, I, I don't even need to be sad. This person, person, place, or thing obviously doesn't value me, doesn't care about me. So why am I even jealous? It doesn't matter. And I should let go of that. Or that negative energy that you may feel or have a grudge on or towards a person, place, or thing, use that jealousy to push you forward. So you're like, you know what? F being sad. I'm gonna make myself better. 
and they can see that they missed out. Even though it's not about them, it's about me, but use jealousy and that energy to push you forward so that you can rise above and you no longer have to be like sad and feeling like you missed out or feel less than. No, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna use this to like motivate me to make me better and they'll see it's their loss or whatever the situation is. You can modify it to your current circumstance. Okay, so releasing sadness, using envy, jealousy to push you forward and make you greater. Okay, you got no time to be sad. You're too cute to be sad. Okay, all right. So let's see what's going on when it comes to your health for this week. So Cancers, you guys got the Page of Cups here. So a message or you may receive a message or just a message in general, whether it's like someone tells you something face to face or something you read, something you watch, something you listen to, music, podcast, magazine, whatever, it may bring you some comfort. Maybe someone gives you a compliment or just makes you feel good. You're like, mm, you know what? Okay, that was a nice quote. Maybe you're like making a little tea, you know, like yogi teas and you get a little message and that quote, you know, your fortune cookie, just kind of like, mm, you know what, I needed that message or I needed to hear that even if it's something random or something you see on a billboard or, you know, some lyrics in a song may bring you some comfort and help you emotionally get through some things this week. So this week, I think it's more centered or focused around your emotions, like your emotional health. I don't really see any issues going on with it, like your physical health, anything like that. It's more about your, your emotions and speaking kindly to yourself, um, being surrounded by good things, listening to positive music, reading books, uh, watching things that uplift you. So you may receive a message or someone may compliment you. Maybe they tell you, oh, you look so good or I like your outfit or um, you look great, you know, whatever the case is or I'm so proud of you and it kind of lifts your spirit up or they say, oh, you're like, I just, you're so, always so kind to me and I really appreciate that or thanks for being in my life someone or something may uplift you just by their message or this could even be you maybe you are paying it forward and doing that to someone but this week be kind to yourself be gentle with yourself and try to speak life speak um, positive things into yourself and uh, tell yourself good things about you instead of focusing on the negatives be like you know what i like this about me i like this about me and in the comments let me know list three things that you like about yourself and be honest about it like you know i like that I am a nice person. I like that I do this, this, this. List three things. Okay, then on when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, you guys got the nine of cups. So good news, it looks like with your career, work, finances, um, school, business, whatever you have going for you, you're very satisfied. You're emotionally fulfilled. You're feeling proud. You've completed or you're maybe almost done with something that could have taken a lot, you know, emotions out of you, but you succeeded or you're accomplished. You're feeling satisfied. You're feeling good. Maybe nothing crazy or nothing outrageous is happening, but you're like, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm at peace. Things are good. I'm grateful. I'm happy with how things are. And maybe now you're able to like sit back and chill for a little or not be as stressed. So you seem to be content and uh, maybe be receiving, you know, good fruits of your labor. So this actually is a week where you're not too stressed. There's not too much craziness hopefully going on at work. Or even if there is, you are able to manage it and you seem to be good because you've complete you've completed all important tasks and you're proud of yourself. You could be working with or go to school with or do business with a water sign like yourself, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, um, and you guys maybe are a good team or you've been able to really put your emotions and your heart into your craft, your work, your gift, your talents, whatever, and now you're glad that you did that because it has turned out to be profitable or you're in a good position. Like you got paid, your bills are paid, your life is good, there's no big worries. Maybe you're not rich or a millionaire, but you're doing okay. All right, then when it comes to your love, romance, dating, or relationships on your side, you got the five of wands, five of swords, and the three of pentacles. All right, so there's some frustrations, some things we gotta work through, but it's okay. On this other side for this other person, this can be the past, present, or future situation, or all three, all the above. We have the two of swords in reverse, the nine of wands, and the four of cups. So as far as who you could be dealing with, it can definitely be maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe, maybe air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but 
really can be any sign. I'm not really getting one specific sign that sticks out the most to me. So it could be any sign. All right, so what do I see here? It seems like you're going through some frustrations. Maybe there's some drama going on, uh, anger, fights, arguments, hurtful words maybe that were or have been exchanged. And um, you're working through some things that are kind of like affecting you, but you're trying to you're trying to move past it, but it is something that is, you know, hard not to react. And it could have nothing to do with this person, and it could just be stuff at work or with neighbors or like friends or something, because I feel like it could be multiple things. I feel like it's not just one thing. It's probably multiple people or multiple scenarios, multiple things that are just like, ah, oh, like annoying you, frustrating you. You're just like, oh, someone hold me back. I'm gonna punch someone in the face. It's like, you know, those days, those weeks you have, you're like, I swear, if someone pisses me off, like if the next person that like tests my patience, I'm just gonna like go off on them. You just may be feeling like that possibly, at least with like personal relationships. And again, this doesn't have to be romantic. It could be like friend, family member, anybody. But I do wanna say, don't worry, it's okay. It's gonna be all right. I feel like you have someone here who has your back and is gonna be there for you. And the good thing is here, I see that like, even if it, this your frustrations have nothing to do with this person, or maybe it kind of does a little bit, that they actually understand. Like they may, they either know why you're upset, you're frustrated, or they may not even know exactly why, but they know that you're angry for a reason. And so they're listening they understand. They're like, it's okay, I know, I get it. If you're mad, it's for a reason. I'm not judging. I'm listening to you and I'm showing sympathy. I'm, I'm holding space for you. I'm giving you grace. I just feel like they're giving you grace. They're not judging you. And maybe in the past they wouldn't want to hear it. They're like, oh, I don't have time for it. I got my own problems. But actually they're being receptive to you and they know, they understand. They know why you're upset. They get it and they're like, okay, all right. And it looks like here, if there were some hurtful words exchange or someone says something about you or there's a misunderstanding, they have your back and they actually are standing up for you or they're protecting you. And they're telling you, it's okay, like I got you, don't worry, I'll talk to that person or I'll let them know or uh, don't worry, you don't gotta worry about them, like I got you. So they're sticking up for you or at least you feel safe with them, they're gonna protect you, okay? If you feel like you're being attacked or people are coming for you or they're just accusing you of something or uh, you know, trying to make you look bad in some way, shape or form or spread rumors, whatever the case is, someone here has your back. Because I do see by the end of the week that you're working together with this person, they're helping you in a logical, practical way. Uh, maybe they're helping distract you by doing other things like at home or uh, working on something that has nothing, nothing to do with your frustrations. And I just feel like they're showing sympathy. They're understanding you. They're uh, giving you, holding space for you emotionally. And they want to, I feel like they are trying to be calm, cool, and collected so that you can be like, have your moment and feel like you can, you know, rant, rant, go off or whatever. And they're just holding space for you. So um, I'm sorry for whatever it is that you may be going through, but just want you to know that you'll get through it. It's gonna be okay. It may not feel like it in the moment, but it will pass. And I at least see by the end of the week that things will start to move forward and you will progress. Just try to focus on being practical, logical, and just, and just taking action. Like if there's drama at work or at school or you know in your personal life or something, just focus on doing whatever task that's most important and try to rem like let remove all that noise and don't let that affect you don't let that aff affect your work or your, your ability to study or make money or whatever or start to garden do something practical to like mute kind of like uh mute out that noise or the drama okay so let's continue on in the extended to get more information see where their energy is at what are they thinking what are they feeling when it comes to you what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action will be towards you and then follow it up with your advice at the end okay so we'll continue on in the extended link will be below i will see you guys there and i'll see you in the next reading all right take care bye